It's Plymouth Arts Weekends 2016 and this is Martin Bush at the Royal William Yard in Plymouth. How are you? Very good, thank you. So, how long have you been from Stonehouse? I've been in Stonehouse Royal William Yard for since 2004, so 12, 13 years. Has it changed a lot since you've been here? Yes, I remember the tumbleweed days when there was nothing here, yeah. apart from me and uh, the sales apartment and what have you. So it's quite thriving now. So how did you get into here? Um, I was looking to move to Plymouth. Yes. I gave them what, one of those old things called a CD-ROM. Right. asking for a studio space and I uh, met the governor and he liked what I was doing and uh, gave me a space to show my work and paint and I sort of naturally fell into the shoes of artist in residence and I've been here moved around a lot as people say in, in, but in some house or in in the yard yes. in the William yard but that's been kind of exciting because each time it's was like a going different to space and, uh, and everything being moved around in Tesco's unless you go and look for something. Well, that's a good <laughs> point. Yeah, yeah. They find me and discover me eventually. Yeah. So where were you before you came to uh, Stonehouse? I now? was in Wales um, for six years, a place called Tinton, yeah. along the River Wye. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, but so a bit rural for what I was west. trying to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, quite enjoyed living there. Don't miss it that much. It was, uh -huh. uh, it was of the time. Is that where you brought up? No, I was brought up in Oxfordshire originally. Uh -huh. but I've lived in places like Birmingham and Shropshire, Brighton, a bit in London and Thailand. I've lived there for a year. I've yeah. been going back there ever since. Uh -huh. <laughs> how, how often do you go back to Thailand? Uh, me and my wife go back for the last 19 years. Uh -huh. Every year if we can. So where did you study art? Uh, Birmingham. Yeah. As I mentioned, that's where I did my three years in art and design. Was it a good foundation? Uh, it was a, I didn't do the foundation actually, I went straight into the degree course. Yes. You know, I haven't done my sort of A levels, O levels. I well, felt it was, it was I knew where I wanted to go. To do an art course. I think Burma's great, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah Centre of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> With a lovely accent. <laughs> so, uh, what, what influences your arts, which is probably a bit of a cliche? Well, if it's, well, I have written a piece which, if I. Oh, it's not here, it's just there. And, you know, just simply, you know, uh, my inspiration is simple. Uh, life and its wonders. Yeah. Um, you know, as you go through life, you have discoveries, you have hard times, good times, and m my work is very expressive, so it's my expression on my own experiences in life, I suppose. And what artists do you like? Uh, um, sort of a mixture, a meld between Gerhard Richter and Harold Hodgkins was the first one I sort of got oh. into, and um, good old Bert Irvine, who I had the privilege to meet, one of our great London abstractists. Yeah. So you've had a website for quite a while, haven't you? Goodness me, yeah. When I first got my computer, about from 2000, I think. And what's and your it's website? Evolved. www.martinbush.co.uk. So where do you sell your work? Um, just in the trail, I've always seemed to have stuck with selling it myself. Yeah. You know, now and again, I get a few galleries in, and uh, some I work through that. Um, Any but online. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, from Barbados to Australia, yeah, lucky to have typically clients. Tropical. Typically tropical, <laughs> as my work is, yeah, California, yeah. Uh, South Africa, um, you know, all over various countries in Europe, and some places I probably don't even know. Someone found some of my work in Singapore the other day okay. and sent me a photograph, which was lovely. Awesome. <laughs> You're welcome, thank you, and enjoy the art weekend. Myself around now, I look back in the scrapes. I think of oh, what I've done now, the time has took its place. You call me every night now, and I'm not gonna chase. Cause all I i
Chris Oxland. You can Facebook him for gigs in Plymouth. Thanks to Martin Bush and Plymouth Art Weekend organisers. This has been Chris from a few media production 2016. You can contact me through ccsphoto12 at hotmail.com and paypal me at christophersomefield at gmail.com if you can help me with these free videos. It's a lifestyle thing. Be who you want to be.